that way. Yes, God is omnipresent, but God is only met in one place. I don't know if you can hear me. Now, now watch this. Elisha is with his servant. And his servant runs to him and he says, My master, we are going to die. The enemies have surrounded us all around. And Elisha said, Father, open his eyes that he may what? See. When his eyes were opened, they were in a valley, but all of a sudden the boy realized he was the only one in the valley. The Bible says that he saw Elisha on a mountain surrounded by multitude of angels. Wait, no, 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 no. That doesn't make sense. We are both in a valley. But when his spiritual eyes are opened, he realizes that Elisha is not with him. So this attack could have gotten him, but never Elisha. So when the Bible says a thousand will fall on your right, on your side, and ten thousand on your right, and he will never get close to you, is because you are not in the same location. Amen. Hallelujah! Just because we are in the same place physically, yes, does not mean we are in the same place spiritually. Amen. Before anything happens to you, it must touch your spirit first. God told the devil. Touch everything, but don't touch his spirit. So all the calamity that came did not exclude Job. He just could not hit him. So when the wave came, it would take everything away except Job. Why? Because Job is on Mount Zion. Amen. 